Okay, we got the first uh, stage coordinates, and this is a multi-cache called the dead zone. And we got the coordinates, so that's the easy part. The next part is going through the screaming tunnel. This is pretty creepy. I'm glad that the cache isn't in the tunnel. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Um, there's multiple waypoints, and uh, I'm just glad we're not searching in this scary tunnel. There's people coming. Oh, because there was a haunting here. Somebody died in the tunnel. That's a long story. There were two waypoints already listed for this multi, and then the redirect at stage one showed you where the final cache is located, which is quite a bit of a walk. And we're getting close, we're within about 70 meters. And it'd be nice to get this one. It's been around for quite a while. We've just never been here. We seem to have arrived close to ground zero, a bit uh, on the wrong side of the creek. Well, we'll climb over there. I got it. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> so I got it all under control. I think we uh, had trouble at that stage because of the, the fright that I had in the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I think it scared the geosenses right out of me. Oh yeah, we, we searched and searched. <laughs> searched and searched and searched, but oh. So thankfully, through uh, PAF, phone a friend. Yeah, we're able to get what we need to proceed on this pretty cool multi. <laughs> Let's go. So we're now proceeding from the entrance of the tunnel to what we hope to be the final, based on the coordinates we have, and uh, we'll have to see if we're successful. So stay with us. It's really hard to see. It's so old, but this is a cassette case for Stephen King's The Dead Zone. And there's the logbook with Christopher Walken's picture on it from The Dead Zone. And why was it uh, called The Dead Zone here? Well, the tunnel. And The Dead Zone was partially filmed in Niagara on the Lake. If you looked that one up to the gazebo shot. Here, take a look. Not scared. She knows him. Well, what did you want to show me? And we're going to drop off a uh, Cash Canada calling card. And if you ever find one of these, our, our large leaf is on the back, and both of our cash names are with trackable numbers on the front. This one is from 2009, and we finally got this one. So many people in the area have already got this cache, but we're finally uh, able to come out and get it, and we're glad you could join us to come find this one. But there's more caches to be found, so let's go.
Got it. Cool. Just another cache uh, to get on the way before we uh, put ourselves back through that tunnel. We'll get signed in and see if we can get through. Holy, did you hear that? We gotta get going. We're out of here. Let's go. We're out of here. We wanted to take you to another cache just as creepy. Yeah, but we can't quite figure out how to get to it. So that will be another episode. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, where will geocaching take, take you. you? Cemetery. Ooh. Who doesn't like a cemetery cache? Eh? <laughs> Put in the comments below. <laughs>